Welcome back. We're talking to uh, Aramat about some unusual uh, things going on with the Romulans, and apparently people are interested in Chodak um, items, which the archaeologist Shanok was also looking at. So, does this also tie together with our uh, Garidian Fifth Scroll subplot? Who knows? I would never cheat you, Captain. Now, this has been very entertaining, but I do have other customers. The Ferengi is moving away. Warp 5. And we just let him go. Apparently, being a criminal isn't a problem uh, if you can just supply uh, the Federation with some marginally useful information. Let him go. We have what we came for. Captain. The report on Aramut's shipment is in the computer. Apparently the animals which Dr. Hune Forge thought were from Romulan space actually came from Shoniosho Epsilon 6, uncharted territory. Shoniosho Epsilon 6. Now that's a long name for a star. I'll be sure to look at that report soon, number one. There's more, Captain. We can check on those animals in the Federation Morphology Database. These creatures are definitely related to species from Garrett. I thought that relations with the Garridians were minimal at best, so why do you suddenly have so much information about their animals? Shanoishu Epsilon 6, or Phrygis, as Aramut calls it, might just be our lost Garridian colony. And again, that's terribly convenient. <laughs> Be sure to alert our guests. Lay in a course for Shonoisho Epsilon 6, Warp 5. Aye, sir. Engage. There we go again. Warp 5. A bit slow. So let's uh, speed up. Actually, can primary we... core access enabled. Systems online. See that report that they were talking about? No, this is about the chameleon fields that um, the the thing that attacked Martin's orbital station was using. The reports are somewhere. No. Apparently not. Okay. In that case, let's go to warp 94. Engage. Warning. Entering nebula. Warning. Subspace vortex. Damage to torpedo bay. Damage to oh. main impulse engine. That was random. Entering Federation space. And also, ultimately, uh, not as relevant. Helm, standard orbit. I want a non standard orbit. Captain's log supplement. The Enterprise has arrived in the Shono Isho Epsilon system, where, according to Adamant's data, we expected to find the world where the followers settled. However, our sensors show no Class M planets in the system at all. No Class M planets? Data, are you sure? Data, is it possible there's something we missed? I can attempt to enhance the scan matrix. That may increase our sensor resolution. Make it so. Ah, there's no problem that cannot be solved by Technobabble. Well? Mr. Data, any suggestions? I suggest we contact Starfleet, Captain. I don't want to contact Starfleet. I thought you were going to scan. Aramot is a Ferengi. Maybe he altered his navigational logs to throw us off the track. That's a bit racist. True, but racist. 
That is a possibility. There is physical evidence, however, that Aramid did visit the system. What sort of evidence, Mr. Data? The hull of Aramid's ship had recently been irradiated by chromaton particles. Shonoisho Epsilon is the only star in this sector that emits chromaton particles. What the hell are chromaton particles? Mr. Wolf, your analysis. Captain, we should check our orders from Starfleet. I don't want to. I don't think Aramut was lying to us about this location, Captain. I do sense life out there, but it's hard to be more specific at this distance. If the followers are out there, how do you propose we locate them? These are people who fled from persecution on Garid. They might be hiding deliberately. It may be better to let them locate us by sending out a general message of friendship. They left God knows how long ago and they're still worried about that? Okay. Perhaps one of our passengers could think of something that would encourage the followers to respond. Now see, that's useful. That's a more useful suggestion than contact Starfleet. Wow. Troy is actually being useful. Well, Tabak seems the most uh, knowledgeable of our three guests, so let's talk to him again. We've arrived at Aramat's coordinates, but if the followers are here, they're hiding. Do you suppose they'd respond to a message of friendship? Perhaps they would pay attention to someone who quoted the lawgiver. Captain, if you patch me through your comm system, I could send out an appropriate message. Make it so. Aye, Captain. And when the lawgiver left Gerrit, he said of the ruling council, they have taken my words and engraved them backwards. Let's see if that worked. There is no response, sir. Well, it was worth a try. Okay, that didn't work. I honestly don't know <laughs> what, uh, what else we need to try, but still. There is no response from the planet, Captain. The fifth scroll could... Sir, we are being hailed. Oh, okay, apparently I just wasn't patient enough. Who is this that knows the lawgiver's lament? Okay, you look weird. It's strange how some of the... Uh, some of the, the view screen images look really photorealistic and then some of them look like this. It's, I think, mo mostly the, the species that they actually used in the series that look realistic, so maybe it's just that they used uh, photographs or something from publicity material to base those images off, or, or whatever, I don't know. I am Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the Federation Starship Enterprise. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? I shall need more information before I can trust you. Tell me more about yourself. We represent the United Federation of Planets. We are on a mission of peace. Is that why your ship is bristling with weapons? Yes, yes, that's exactly why it is. We use our weapons purely for defense. I see. And would the Federation be willing to defend us? Starfleet protects all of Federation space, which includes this system. If you wish, your world could even apply for Federation membership. I don't think the Romulans or Garidians would like that. They both have made claims on this world. That is unfortunate, but immaterial. Your planet is in Federation space. If you ask for our assistance, we will give it. That is a noble attitude. Okay. Well, we have more stuff to talk about, but since we're running up on ten minutes, I'm going to break it here instead of in the middle of talking about something. So, see you next time.